What's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. Cordova spent his life studying the history of the galaxy in many different places. Dragged me along on a few expeditions. It was educational. You really believed in the past? He believed in the future. But you can't have a future without the past. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Connected with the Force, but I still feel blocked. Why do you think that is? Every time I open myself up, I see Master T'Pol. You felt this, yet you've continued deepening your connection to the Force. You know what that says to me? That I don't know what's good for me. That you're strong enough to embrace your emotions. Give yourself time. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. I don't know why people have to. Tell that to him. He can understand you. He can? Look, I didn't mean anything by it. Droids just freaked me out. What doesn't? You sound like an imp. They deactivate droids just because they can. That makes him one of us. I'm glad I have you two to back me up. And we will. We all have to support each other. That's the only way to succeed. Think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Yet I love going from one problem to the next. Don't you ever get sick of it? It's the nature of the mission, Captain. You knew the risks when you accepted the Charter. I know getting this hollow thingy and rebuilding the Jedi Order is important. But do you really think you'll be able to change things? We believe we can. Yes. We can put an end to the oppression of the Empire. I just didn't like I never met any Jedi. They were always off doing their thing, and we Lateros took care of our own. We never got help from Jedi. I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing is perfect. Yeah. No gambling or nothing going on. Really? Yeah, we're talking pure entertainment. Nothing gets me going more than watching a couple slubs square off. Just slick moves and brute force. Captain, I am slightly troubled by your enthusiasm for something so... Barbaric. Every Jedi faces the dark side. And it's very easy to fail. You're still struggling with the dark side. Even after cutting yourself off from the Force. You will always struggle. But that is the test. It's the choice to keep fighting that makes us who we are. There are many who depend on you whether they know it or not. Don't doubt yourself, Cal. You proved yourself to be the one we were looking for. That's when I should have told you everything. You made your choice. I get it. Doesn't change what we have to do. Maybe not what we have to do, but how we go about it. I made the wrong choice, and I put you in danger. That's no way to guide you. I never asked you to guide me. Before you, this quest was all on my shoulders. Sure, I had Grease, but he didn't really know the importance of what we're trying to do. I can't expect you to do it all yourself. You've told Anything could happen here, but I'm ready. I know you are, Cal. But also know that no matter what happens, good or bad, there will always be another challenge to overcome. Is that supposed to uplift me? It's supposed to remind you that you're doing everything you can, and that failure is not your fault. Only giving up. 
Breeze has gone outside for once. Figured I'd take the time to rest. Not a bad idea. You two have spent a lot of time together. I think it's Marin's turn to enjoy his charm. <laughs> think she can handle it? He's superstitious enough to give her space. Relatively speaking. Jedi have such a ritual. Yes. Building our lightsabers brings us closer to ourselves, the Force, and each other. Strange that an order of peacekeepers bond around creating weapons. I've often thought the same thing. I was trained by following strict protocols. Prepared for everything. Or so I thought. Maybe that was the lesson, Cal. You can't know everything. You can only trust that you are able to handle whatever you face. How quiet it is. I don't know if it's because Grease is off the ship or something else. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure. I don't know if I like it. Silence is strange when you aren't looking for it. Almost makes me want to fill these walls with music from my Halleck set or something. They brought Trillet in the room. And when I saw her eyes, they showed me what I had caused. She was an inquisitor. And something in me gave. And I lost all control. And I tapped into the dark side. And I killed them all. Every last one of them. Except for her. And for years, I couldn't forgive myself. I was a wreck. Because I had all this rage. And I tried pushing it down, but there was no hiding from myself. And all I wanted to do was die. But then I learned about the Holocron. A spark of hope that there could be a future. That we could move on. There's stormtroopers everywhere. Ilum was our planet, Cal. Don't let them forget that. Maybe the Haxian brood will come and find us. Are you both still mad at me? The Grease guy? Mad isn't the word I'd use. Hey, you gotta admit, though, I paid you back in thrills. How many slubs get on the Haxian Brood's most wanted list, huh? If you weren't such a good pilot, I'd hand you over myself. Maybe when we train the younglings, we'll do it my way. I have a few ideas that don't include life or death situations. <laughs> You'll never train someone your way. Both people have to be willing to learn. It's over, Trilla. Nothing is ever truly over. This fight is over. I know the darkness that is eating you up inside, and every day we choose to either feed it or fight it. It's too late, sir! No, it's not. I know the choices that I made took all your choices away, and I have failed you, Trilla. I failed you. And I am so very sorry. Cordova put the holocron inside. That's what's important. I have to get it. Cordova built danger into this test to protect it. You're worried about me. I don't want to train all those young things alone. I have a favorite memory with Cordova? Our hollow chess games. Cordova was so absorbed in his research, I basically trained myself. But he always had time for a round of hollow chess. You ever win? <laughs> We'd go back and forth. Our approaches were completely different. Just when you thought you were winning, surprise. Sounds like you learned a lot from each other. In our own ways, we did. The war took a lot of people from us. But we are still here. Don't forget that, Grease. Won't be going alone. I'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. You 